those guys right there are why we trap so that we can actually have somewhat of a turkey population that can persist it's a soggy nasty morning and I gotta head out past them but uh, we're gonna get out and check some traps like I said, everybody, them turkeys, they're why we're out here trapping. Uh, that's probably the main reason that Missouri has changed some of their big uh, trapping regulations lately is because uh, we're wanting to keep that turkey population strong and healthy. Uh, and one of those number one culprits to uh, kind of bringing that number down is the nest raiders and this guy that I got in a trap right here. This soggy little possum, he would uh, love to jump on one of those turkeys' nests and eat up the eggs. So I'm going to take care of him, and then we are going to move on down the line. It's soggy. Uh, I'm going to try to go ahead and... Oh, he's a feisty little possum. I'm going to try and do this as quickly as I can today, so if we have any more catches, why, it probably won't see a lot of screen time of it, uh, just because I'm trying to move on and get this done. It's not a beautiful day in the Ozarks by any means today. So, I'll get him taken care of and we'll move on, see what else we have. Got a mud ball of a coyote out here. So... Gonna get him taken care of out of there. Sheesh. The muddy, nasty day is paying off. Got another coon here. So, gonna get him taken care of. Get him out of there. Well, everybody, it's the next day. and I apologize for not showing as much uh, stuff yesterday as I probably could have, but uh, it was raining really misty you probably couldn't tell it in that video but it was nasty it was pretty cold and uh, i was trying to get everything done that day and uh, i was moving around fast i totally forgot that uh, i had put out trail camera over this set for the coyote and for the possum so today we're gonna and we're gonna look and see just exactly what uh was on that trail camera so hopefully we got something good uh, on both sets uh, we may even have a little bit of footage of what came through last night uh, after i got rid of uh, both those critters seeing if something else came through and checked it out uh, and just see uh, kind of what else is around here I, uh, I was a little bummed out, but uh, like this morning I got a pet photo, I'll throw it up there for you now. I don't know what that is, uh, I kind of thought it was a bobcat again, it may be, I don't know. Leave your comments down below and you can tell me what you think. Uh, it kind of looks like he's walking away from the camera with his butt to you, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know, but I kind of thought, man, I really should have had that set, but yesterday... It was so nasty from that coon uh, at that spot, uh, just kind of like it is here. At this set today, I mean, it looks about like a cow lot after it's rained, if you've ever uh, dealt with anything like that. See, there's still some standing water there. But uh, I really didn't feel comfortable setting it yesterday, and uh, I'm not going to beat myself up too bad. For missing that just because who knows if I even would have uh, it probably would have been so sloppy who knows uh, this set here it may even have to be moved a little bit there's not it's pretty flat here there's no real uh, bump or contours uh, I might move it just a few feet away uh, one way or the other and uh, redo this set here all right I settled on going ahead and remaking this uh, but I'll show you what I've kind of done here. So this is where my trap originally was, obviously. And I moved it just slightly over here. Uh, 
the stakes when I pulled them they were super easy to pull out uh, I would say if uh, something else got in it if they worked at it long enough why they'd get right out of it so I set it right over here I mean it's really it's right at the edge of the catch circle but it's a lot drier there um, the, the stakes drove in and they set in pretty good uh, if it continues to dry out today I mean there's a light breeze and the sun's out uh, I'd say that this will be pretty well set up pretty hard uh, so if something does come in and get caught here it's going to be basically in the same catch circle as this they're going to overlap that's how close they are uh, and the reason I did it that way was I kind of looked around here. I thought about moving it that way a little ways uh, And it would have a little bit of more of a backing to it, but This whole trap circle here just reeks of coyote uh, that one yesterday was a male So I'm sure he just peed and everything else you can imagine in here So this reeks of coyote and then you're gonna have that right there So maybe if something comes up smells this coyote sees the big old trap circle there uh, maybe it'll feel a little easier whenever it walks up here feels a little more comfortable and then we can get it so gonna move on uh, we'll see if the other sets are able to be set where they are or if I need to move them uh, I'm thinking that possum just from what I can remember yesterday uh, I think that that'll be a set that I could probably put in the same place because he didn't he didn't move too much and uh, he didn't work up the ground a whole lot so it may even be dried out by the time I get over there. So I'm going to move on see what else I'm going to find. Out here this morning guys, uh, it's rained a lot for the last few days so I haven't videoed probably in the last two maybe three days. Uh, checking some traps and that one that we haven't been to in a while. So here with this one at the rib cage I think I've shown you. Uh, I made it here because coyotes have obviously chewed on that and cleaned it up pretty good so I was just using it as backing and it looks like we had some kind of visitor there looks like maybe a small coyote uh, trap didn't go off looks like they just missed it so gonna maybe relure it here make sure that uh, the rain the last few days hasn't completely hosed everything up in there and then uh, maybe we'll get another one come by. Ooh, dang. Hmm. Looks like something got out. I'll have to remake this one. Hmm. Whatever it was is big enough to knock them branches down. Yep. I'll reset this. I totally forgot at that last set that I put up a trail camera uh, so hopefully I just played you whatever animal was in that I just remembered that and thought I'd throw that in here uh, I'm at the set where we caught the muddy coon the other day and I'll show you what I got a notification of at 122 this morning that's a big old coyote rolling through and he had to walk uh, right by this set here but uh, I'd say some of that rain and stuff, uh, it was enough to uh, cover or open up my, uh, uh, or show my my pan there. So I'm going to work on this, kind of 
reset it up, relure it. It's supposed to be cold uh, the next few days, but it's supposed to be dry. No more rain than I'm aware of. So we'll get this fixed up. Hopefully he'll happen back through or maybe that bobcat again. And then we will have him in this trap hopefully going forward. So get that patched up and we'll move on down the line. At the low water area. And we're going to have to check out that trail camera because... Boom, set off. You know, I kind of wonder if that coyote didn't stop here first. And uh, eh, maybe it's a coon. Kind of looks like some scratch marks there. I bet it may have been a coon. But we'll see you on the video there. And we'll find out together. So, get this made up. Grab that video. And move on towards the house one more thing about this uh, spot here looks like uh, we may have some kind of interesting video I'm assuming those are probably coon tracks uh, they were up here scoping out the camera so could be interesting well everybody I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Had a few catches, had a lot of remakes, uh, been battling that rain all week so going forward a little more like real trapping weather. Uh, it's going to be in the 30s for the highs, lows in the 20s so we should really get those animals bumping around. That's why we went ahead and remade a bunch of this stuff today. Made sure it was all good and ready to go for the better weather. So. If you enjoy the video please leave me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it uh leave me a comment down below i answer just about every single one of the uh, comments down below uh, as soon as i can and uh, if you haven't subscribed well you might consider it if you enjoy this type of video uh, but until next time i'll be seeing you Bye bye